Hi crafty friends, I'm back with a process video and this is for the Hip Kit Club design team and this is my fourth, can you believe it? It's my fourth project using the September kit and I am loving the purple. When I unboxed this kit, I was really apprehensive about all the purple that was in it but I gotta say, now that I've made all these pages using all these really, really yummy pink fresh papers, I've embraced the purple. I'm very much a fan. So. My assignment this week was to make a project inspired by the mood board and if you've seen the mood board it had these like really fun paint swatches on it and so that's what I went with. That was my inspiration for the page. Now this really fun pink fresh paper, this is from Indigo Hills 2 and this was in the main kit. This pink fresh paper already had the paint swatches and so when I saw this I was like this is the perfect paper for a page inspired by the mood board and I decided to just add a little bit of mixed media. If you grab the color kit this month, you'd see that that purple paint is shimmers and it's called Wisteria Lane. And it's really, really shimmery. Like in the close-ups, you'll see it. And when I actually show you my stitching, you'll see the sparkle. But there's actually gold sparkle in this purple paint and it's really, really pretty. And so I just picked three spots on the page to, you know, kind of create a visual triangle whatever that is because I like to say that I've created a visual triangle and then sometimes I have no idea what I'm even talking about. So let's pretend I do and I've created a visual triangle. Now that pink paint is also from the color kit and it was spritz in cotton candy. So if you got the color kit this month then you have both of those colors. And the color kit also came with this really really fun yellow paint. I just didn't use it on the page because the page already had that yellow swatch at the bottom. And I thought it was fun because this paper now has all the colors in the kit. It has the pink and the yellow and the navy and the purple and the coral. And it just works really well as a background. And the other thing I did off camera, which you would have seen while I was babbling in typical Tashi fashion, was I fussy cut a ton of flowers. I've been on a fussy cutting kick recently. I just love the way fussy cutting looks on a page. And so when I got my kit, I pulled out that paper that had all the really small, really intricate pink fresh flowers and I fussy cut half the page. I want to say like maybe a third to half the page. And I knew that I was going to use it on this photo. Now this is a photo of my kit in Astoria. Um, I feel like you've heard me talk about these cats a lot recently, but I have kittens. And since we don't have children, all I do is scrap photos of the kittens. Now this was during my, uh, all nighter fueled madness. I saw Tori hanging out under my um, studio lights that I use for my videos and she was all cute and I grabbed this really quick picture of her and she bolted the second I took it but I was like perfect now I have a photo of you Tori and so I'm scrapping this photo of Astoria. Now what I did was I added some Heidi Swap gold color shine and then I edited out me drying the page with my heat tool because it did take a little bit of drying. That shimmers paint took a little bit of time to dry and the gold color shine takes a little bit of time to dry. So I hit it with my heat tool for a few minutes and now I'm working on matting my photo. So I pulled out that Amy Tan shine on paper because one of the things I love about the hip kits is they blend manufacturers and designers really, really well. That Amy Tan paper, completely different designer, completely different collection. Oh, see, that's the paper that I fussy cut all those flowers out of. So if you wanted to know which paper it was, that's the backside of it. But what I was saying is the collections, completely different designers, completely different manufacturers, but Kimberly does such a good job of blending them that it looks like they were made for each other. So that Amy Tan paper has all the colors in my background. It has pink and it has the dark blue and purple and yellow and coral. And I thought it'd be really cool to use that as a photo mat. So I pull up, you know, I cut my papers down to size. I cut out a tiny bit of that gray, the gray, I don't know if that's the B side or the A side. I can't ever tell with these pink fresh papers because both sides are so intricate, but it is the opposite side of the flowers that I fussy cut. And I thought it'd be cool to have kind of a neutral, but not white. Normally I put my photos on vellum before I start putting it down on a color mat, but I thought it'd be something, you know, some cool to do something different and do something a little bit more interesting. And this gray and white paper had just enough color in it to not, to be neutral, but also, you know, to stand out and not be white. So that's why I went with that. Nodding it on that Amy Tangerine paper. 
and this takes me a very long time because I can't stick things down straight to save my life. This is where I realized that those gray papers are crooked and I pull them all off and start over. Now I tried to use my T-square. My T-square is like my best friend. I won't like, I cannot do a single project without pulling out my T-square. But because those papers weren't complete sheets of paper, I had to just eyeball it again. And I go for it and it eventually works out. Only I have to like stick it down with glue like three or four more times and I pick it up and I put it down and it's very hard for me to commit to things. If you've ever seen scrapbook, it's just, I pick things up and I put them down and then I pick them up and I put them down. And I think we are in a place where it might be straight enough to make me happy, so. Now I cut all my photo mats, you saw that before I even had my photo. So some of them are a little too big and now I'm distressing that. I love distressing um, my photo mats, so I did that. And then off camera, what I did was actually add the yellow photo mat and distress the edges of that. Now here I realized that I actually don't want to use that navy paper that I was going to use as a mat, so I pull out this stunning, absolutely stunning purpley blurple ombre paper from Pink Fresh and that is going to be my final layer. And do you, look at me embracing the purple. Like, do I, can I, can I clap for myself because I'm embracing the purple and actually putting purple on a page? Um, but I, I liked it a lot more than the dark of the navy, especially since it's a black and white picture. I was a lot happier with the, um, the purple instead of the navy, so. So now I have my photo and I'm going to do something really brave. You see that? Do you see that? That, my friends, that's machine stitching. I know, I know, I did it. This is the second layout this month that has machine, machine stitching and I owe it all to the HipKit design team because Audrey's video on stitching on paper has saved my life. It has made me a lot more, and I love machine stitching on other people's layouts, but I was always terrified to add it to my page because one, my sewing machine and I were not friends. Two, I was terrified that I was going to do it as an accent on my page and then ruin the page and have to start all the way over. But I, I'm going for it. So what I did here was tiny and I figured I would start small so if I ruined the page I could cover it up. So I took gold metallic thread and I did kind of a zigzag stitch and then I took pink, uh, just regular old cotton thread and did kind of a back and forth messy stitch. And I really like the way that looks and I like the texture it adds. Now what I'm doing is pulling out all those flowers that I fussy cut before the layout start. And now I'm making a frame for my photo. So my design idea was to have that picture of Tori kind of leaning to the left, not like 100%, but kind of leaning to the left, and then take all those flowers I cut out and make a frame of sorts. It's not like 100% frame because it doesn't go all the way around, but I kind of want the flowers to look like they were bursting out from behind the photo and then some of them to overlap the photo. So I glued all my, my flowers down after I arranged them and that took a little bit of work because I was trying to do that thing. Missy does this thing and she's so good at it. I wish she would like teach a class. She does this thing where she arranges her whole layout and then she like picks up bits and pieces and glues them down in place. And every time I try that, it is a terrible, terrible mess. So I did, I was able to do that a little bit here, but if I didn't edit out all the fussing I did with these flowers, you would literally watch me spend maybe six minutes trying to glue these flowers down in the arrangement where I had them originally. So I did us both a, dis a service and through the magic of editing, now all the flowers are glued down. So what you saw me pull out was one of those suede flowers and those were an Amy 10, uh, from the Amy 10 collection Shine On. And I just love the texture and I love the color. I wanted more yellow in this page and so I grabbed the yellow flower. Now I'm pulling some chipboard. This is from the Indigo Hills 2 collection. This I believe is in the embellishment kit, not the main kit. So if you got the embellishment kit, then you got the, um, the Indigo Hills 2 sheet. And I love the Pink Fresh Studio. I wish more pe more designers do this. You can just like punch out the flower, the pieces, and it comes out with the backing. Like you, so you can pick things up and you can arrange them. And every other chipboard I've tried this with doesn't always come out with the backing. And I really like that this does because then I could pick it up put it down on the page, decide if I liked it, and if I didn't, I can move it around 
And what I ended up doing was cutting that frame, that oval frame in half and putting it on both sides of my photo. And now it's framing my photo, even though it was like maybe an inch wide to begin with through, you know, some scissors and some quick snips. Now it's framing my whole photo. And I just like the way that looks like I like, I like the way this cluster around the photo is working out. And so I just keep going and I, I have a very hard time stopping when it comes to embellishment. Uh, if you've seen me scrap, you know that I just want to add all the things to the page. So that chipboard is from the pink fresh pa the pink fresh pack. And it just says being with you is my favorite. Um, no offense to Minerva, but Astoria sits still a lot more often than Minerva does. So I have way more photos of Tori than I have of Minerva. And if Minerva would just take a chill pill and quiet down, then there'd be more photos of her. But I just I really loved the black and white of this picture and I thought it was perfect for this kind of graphic -y paper. So now I'm pulling out the die cuts. These came in the main kit, um, also Pink Fresh Indigo Hills. And so I'm pulling out the die cuts and I'm making a cluster for the top right of my page. I tend to do things like that, like if my main layout photo situation is in like the bottom left, then I'll try to do a balancing cluster on the opposite side, but in the top, if that makes any sense. I, I like the look of a diagonal. I very rarely do like a straight vertical or straight horizontal design. I just like the way, the way diagonal looks. So I'm pulling out different bits from the die cut pack. That chipboard flower that I'm trying to use around my photo, I end up putting it in the top of that cluster. And then I grab a purple camera because all about embracing the purple. And I grab a blue banner that says this is better than I thought because having the kittens really is better than I thought. I mean, yes, they're kittens and so they get into all sorts of trouble, but they're so sweet and they're so loving and I'm obsessed. So that's that and then I pull out um, I had popped out some of the hearts from the chipboard sheet. Uh, one was like white with the flowers uh, and then there's two like dark blue ones. And now we are committing because at this point I'm pretty happy with the direction that this layout has gone. So we're committing and we're sticking everything down. I use the Scotch Tacky Glue. That's what's in my fine line bottle. And what I did to all my chipboard pieces, just so you don't think I was mangling them, I did this on purpose, um, I ripped half of the chipboard off. Uh, it was just a little too thick for me. And so I just ripped half the chipboard off so they weren't so puffed up, popped off the page. And then I glued them down with the glue to my fine line bottle. So just, <laughs> just so you don't think I'm mangling all the chipboard pieces when you see the actual chipboard before I stick them down, I just peeled and it's really you can do that if you're going to use like chipboard and like a traveler's notebook or something that you don't want so you know um, dimensional that's the word if you don't want your embellishments to be super dimensional you can do that you can just rip layers off of chipboard i liked the design more than i liked the um the dimension of it i just liked the hearts so that's why i ended up pulling off some of the layers and now i'm going to go with my title and there are these th this font in this puffy sticker set is my favorite. I love like the script. This is what my handwriting looks like most of the time. So I am super, super stoked. And so my title is going to be so beautiful. Um, yeah, I get it's a pretty generic title, but I thought fit for this photo. I grabbed those gold puffy alphas. Those are pink fresh and those also came in the main kit. So if you got the main kit, you got the puffy phrase alpha and you also have the gold um, alphabet. Uh, and so that's my title. So beautiful. And I put the sew down first and then kind of fit the beautiful in around it so that the sew is like tucked in. If that makes any sense, it's kind of like tucked into the beautiful. So it looks intentionally like put that way. Now all I do after this is glue my phrase, uh, my phrase. Oh my Lord. I grew my 
top right cluster together and stick it down on the page. And so I'm going to stop babbling now because I'm clearly starting to lose it. So I hope you like this layout. Uh, please, if you're not already subscribed to the Hip Kids, consider subscribing. The kits are amazing and they're chock full of things you need to get multiple, multiple pages. So you definitely, definitely get your money's worth. Uh, and also remember to join the Facebook group if you're not already a part of the Facebook group. And Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. There's still photos coming up after the break. And as always, keep it crafty, friends, and have a great day.